Okay, if you're looking for the paint code location on a 91 Acura Integra, if you'll go to the driver's door, that's the left front door, you'll see your vehicle information right there. But it's not on that, but if you'll look up on the pillar right above your striker, you'll see where it says color. And this one happens to be BG22M. Okay, now we got the paint code and we can go to the computer mixing system. We're using the PPG mixing system. And I go in and pull it up. And now you can see that it pulls up the, uh, the system. I'm going to hit search. And then I'm going to hit uh, standard. Now you can put in the paint code, you know, from the factory, the OEM code, which was BG22. And then I hit continue, and that pulls up the color that we're looking for. And you can see it up there highlighted. And uh, so I hit continue. And you see there's some variances. Now this is still set on Deltron the solvent. So I'm going to change that to the Enviro base. So we're shooting this in Waterborne. And whenever I do that, you can see there's only a prime so in waterborne there's no variances for this and that you know makes it a convenient many times there's variances now you can see there's a red line on the bottom and that's because that certain that weak white t04 t402 i mean it is uh there's too little of that to to mix that small of amount 6 ounces is the smallest amount i can mix in this specific color So now I've sped it up a little bit to get through this and uh, I put the cup on there and what it doesn't really matter the weight of the cup because that balances out whenever you hit start. So I get the first toner and you can see it's a negative 70, 76.7. We won't take that all the way to zero and we'll go through the toner, toners you know, as it gives us that in order and you can see that I'm getting zero. You get to 0.4 and that's, you want to drip it in at this point because that's not much. I usually try to get it to zero. And you can see that when zero, so I hit next and notice that it resets. Now it's at a ne negative 68.4. So the next part, the next color that I'm putting in asks for this many parts. And so I apply that or you know pour that in. And this is the way, you know, colors for cars are made. I know it's a little different than you may see like at Sherwin-Williams or at Walmart house paint. You know, it's a little different setup. But each color, depending on the color, it may have anywhere from 3 to 10 different toners in it. So, And it looks like I'm really shaking that hard. I'm not it's because it's in fast forward. But this does not have a stirring, you know, agitating system because it's waterborne. So you just want to give it a couple of shakes, gentle shakes. If you shake it too hard, you're going to put air bubbles in it, and that'll ruin the paint. And also notice how I'm holding with the with the left hand the bottom, and I'm using the right hand to go over and pull the trigger. That gives me more control. I found this to work good, you know, when trying to be accurate, because this has to be accurate. If you have two or three parts over, you know, the color may not match the way it should. And you also notice, you know, I get down to the point four or fives, you know, point two. It's just dripping in. I mean, one drip can make a difference. So hit zero, hit the next one. You can see there's very little of this, 1.2. That is not much. But, you know, it takes that little bit of color to make this certain color. You know, it looks like I'm shaking it really hard. I'm really not. So I'm going to pour this one in really slow because that's not much. If you over pour, you know, that makes a, you have to start, you know, you may have to remeasure and it makes a lot more paint you need and it's just a waste of paint. Now here's that point 0.4. This is the one that kept redlining. You know, point 0.4 is not much paint. You know, it's just, I'm going to allow it to drip in until, you know, I get it to zero. I was able to get all these to zero, 100% accuracy. Usually if I'm point, you know, plus or minus one point, you know, I'll go ahead and go with that. Now we need to reduce it, and it's going to use the weight in the cup, and we'll leave it on there. And now, you know, it tells you how much reducer. We're going to reduce this 30% with waterborne reducer. 
and you see that it's going to take 39.9 parts of this. Now this you have to be very careful with because it pours out fast, but if it does over pour slightly, you know, it's not going to change the color. It's just going to change the reduction of it. See that I did go over 0 0.2. I'm going to just go with that. Well, it moved down to 0 0.1. So anyway, that is how you mix automotive paint. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video.